Hey everyone, we're going to be going over the new traversing event. It's going to be for the amusement park sort of celebration. Uh, real quick before we go further into the video, I want to give credit to one of the teams I used. It was from another Japanese YouTuber. Uh, her name is Fugumaru Nene. She came up with the, the team that I used to beat the event and that I'm going to be showcasing right now. So her video is going to be in the description as well as her channel. Give her a follow up. Uh, subscribe rather uh, she does a lot of really cool uh, re-zero content so if you can like bear not understanding her since she's in japanese unless you speak japanese uh yeah definitely watch her videos super helpful and she does a lot better stuff than i do uh, also she's a vtuber so if you're into that you know there you go so real quick we have the event shops traversing events give coins uh that you can farm this time around we have again pretty set stuff uh we have puck anastasia we got tv mimi and hetero i think i think this one's hetero and this one's tv uh then we have petra frederica and a necklace as well as the gems so you know if that's what you want to go for for the gold coins again you can farm those uh, you have unlimited runs on the feather stage it's just a very hard drop right then you have actual currency Make sure you buy these hammers as soon as you can. Always get the cheap ones first. Uh, roll them before you buy any more. Then that'll unlock the even cheaper ones for 40 cost instead of 400 or 100. So be aware of that. Uh, then, yeah, we have other, you know, fodder stuff in there. We don't really need to pay attention to that. Uh, then we have Tess. I think her name's Tessuda. I always <laughs> still don't know it by heart uh but we have some of her tickets in the shop we have 20 or so i believe yeah 20 as well as some necklaces and some hammers and gems along the way so make sure you're doing those as well and that pretty much covers the shop we have some i think we have missions we could possibly yeah it's just hitting higher scores i think no that this is for something else um maybe no missions i don't know here they are uh, first mission is going to be for the three-star ticket. Oh, yeah, three-star ticket. Very important. We'll talk about that soon. But then we have fodder stuff. Uh, you get some gems. Then you get some memory fragments that you can use to ascend memories for free, basically, without needing an additional copy of the same one. The tickets are not for this banner, I believe, or the ticket. I think the ticket... So I had, re I had recorded this video yesterday, but I'm re-recording it now because I think I was aware of something. Uh, what I initially thought was the ticket was for this banner, but I think I could be wrong. Uh, I think that the ticket you get is guaranteed this character uh, or the Chocolatiers. Like only those three. I think that's the ticket we get. You know, I could be wrong now that I'm looking back at it because, okay, so what I'm seeing right now makes sense. But looking at the banner itself and the ticket icon, yeah, I think it's just you can get any one of these, which sucks. It makes the banner significantly worse. Um, I said this in my first edition of the recording. Everything from dress rem to the right is useless. And then everything from uh, chocolatier rem to the left is pretty useful uh, for the most part. Then we have some... Uh, units that are here that are pretty old that could get a transcendence, but um, those are the only value they'll have. So, kind of unfortunate. I wish it was just the three on the on the main picture of the banner. This is what I thought it was going to be. That's why I pre-recorded. But now that I'm thinking about it, uh, it kind of doesn't make sense that they would have a hidden banner that hasn't popped up yet. Because even with the the banners that you don't have tickets for, they'll they'll be here. So it doesn't make sense that the banner will only pop up once you get the ticket. Um, so yeah, this banner kind of blows. Uh, it's also a, a a gem version of it. I'd say probably don't summon it unless you're like a big Ram and Ram fan. It's probably some useless stuff to be honest. Uh, but yeah, you get the currency just by playing and doing stuff. It's right here in the bottom of the mission tab. You also have a memory. We'll go over that when it's unlockable in a separate video. We have some of the fragment stages that we can farm fragments. This one is for older characters that we can farm up. Uh, this time around, we have Bright Elsa, Halloween Mimi. Uh, I don't know which Ram this is. I think it's Chocolatier Ram. Uh, we have Dress Felt. She's pretty solid. The, then we have some Transcendence units. This is uh, Ram, Betty, Roz. Does Roz have a Transcendence? 
I don't think he does. He might soon, though. Uh, then we have Felix, which he does. And then, yeah, these are the lottery versions. You can get 10 if you, you know, hit the jackpot. Otherwise, you're getting one, two, or maybe even three uh, per run. So we'll just test it out real quick. We'll do... I do have a memory because I, I got some... I got one of the memories from the tickets, as well as I was doing pools, just because uh, I want to see if I can pull one of the new Rem and Rams, because they're both really good. Mainly Rem. I kind of want to play around with her. She seems really strong. Um, I was, like, kind of debating on saving, because I'm kind of tired of just, like, spending gems as much as, like, as soon as I get them, but also she's really good, so. Plus, I need some good red units. Then we have this stage. Again, this is going to be for the new units. Okay, so yeah, they don't have the Betty here. Uh, on my previous recording of the video, I actually did them, uh, the stages before I recorded, so I couldn't look at them during the recording. And I was wondering if Betty was on here, but no. So, I don't. yeah, I still don't know if that amusement park Betty is going to be a thing, that unit. But she's around the art in a lot of the art <laughs> uh so i'm i'm thinking that she might be a unit coming up so just be aware of that especially for part two because we already have both ram and ram and tesuda uh, i'm assuming there's gonna be more amusement park units for part two and betty's probably uh it, one of them if not the only one coming <clears throat> then we have the farmable stages this is going to be unlocked by doing the harder versions of the feather stage this is the team I ended up using that I took from Fukumaru Nene. Uh, she, again, made a way better team. I, I made some replacements because uh, I didn't have a uh, majority of the units. This is kind of like the final team that I'm kind of going with. I do want to switch around some memories just for uh, Amelia. Where is the swimsuit memory? Is it down here? Oh, yeah, it's further down. It's going to be right there. Okay. So yeah, this is a majority of what she used. Uh, Anastasia and Rem were different. She had Puck instead of Anastasia, and then uh, Chocolatier Rem instead of normal Rem. But I had to make do because I don't have either of those. I do have Puck, obviously, but uh, she, he's not Transcendence. I did Transcend Felix for this, so I'm going to do Transcendence Showcase on him next. Probably expect that later today or tomorrow. I kind of want to put it out today, but we'll see how I go with laziness. So... You can get hit pretty hard because, again, they're green. So just be aware of that. Uh, basically, what we're doing is just kind of just hitting Rem so she doesn't counter. Anytime Rem counters, I believe, a blue unit, because she didn't uh, expel any of my other units when I was using other teams. When she counters blue units, she just straight up expels them. So for, like, I think 20 turns. So you don't want to hit her at all without killing her. <clears throat> basically, what we're just doing is... Um, lowering the health until it gets to like one hit KO territory and then we kind of just one hit KO we want to do ram first because if we do ram then she's just gonna get rezzed so we're basically just buying time uh basically the better your team at healing the faster this goes it's nothing too crazy but i do really like the team idea it was uh, really sick i enjoyed it quite a bit I kind of wanted to play around with this team more, but there's like no content in the game, so it is what it is. Uh, it's going to just heal. <clears throat> As you can see, Ram is in pretty much kill ter territory, but we are waiting on Ram to get a little lower. It does take quite a bit of time. Again, you want to go for Ram first, because if you kill Ram, Ram instantly gets a turn, then she reses Ram. It's really annoying. So just pretty much buy your time. And then you don't even have to worry about any of this if you pulled one of the new units, so no biggie. All right, this, yeah, this kills. And then we have to make sure we kill here. All right, that's gonna be a heal. All right, Rem does not have killing power with her basic, so we'll wait until we get Amelia. I don't want to just go ahead and kill here, and that's it. <clears throat> Nothing too crazy. Pretty simple strat, but it gets the job done. I, I really like it a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much how I did it. Uh, it also clears the auto conditions, which is really nice. I don't want to 
clear them all yet because I want to switch out for one of the memories. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Boosted memory. There you are. And yeah, that's that's pretty much the event this time around. At least for part one. Part two comes out. Um, hopefully, it's a little easier. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to reference <laughs> Fukumara Nene's uh, video again. Again, her her stuff is gonna be in the description. She's super cool. I I watched her even before this event. Uh, like I sometimes she'd be recommended to me, and I just kind of see what the Japanese side is like doing every now and then. And uh, I like her videos. She does some pretty good videos. So. Uh, if you're itching for some more content of this game, check her out. Uh, either way, again, grind. Make sure you do do stages every day as fast as you can. Or not as fast as you can, but unlock them as fast as you can. You definitely want to have them unlocked uh, as soon as possible. That way you can get this ticket faster. At the end of the day, I don't think the ticket's all that crazy. Knowing that the banner has like a million different units, especially a lot of older ones. But a free ticket at the end of the day is a free ticket, so... Uh, just make sure you're doing it uh, and get your hands on it. I mean, I th you could get that Ram and Ram, uh, you know, on the on the front page. This is probably one of the best units. I'd say, I'd say like kit wise, they're probably the best unit, but like they've fallen off a bit. So the better units are probably Chocolatier Ram, uh, this Ram, any any of these Rams. Uh, Ram right here is kind of good for some niche use uses. Uh, I have her. She she's. Plenty fun, but most of the time she just doesn't work because <laughs> like bosses just don't allow you to use her as well. But like uh, this ram has really nice attack value. Uh, this ram is really good for not only PvP but PvE stuff on Mono Blue. Um, then we have this ram. She's really good support for a Mono Green as well. Like uh, a majority of these units are really good. Uh, I don't know what this ram does, but I'm sure she's like okay. And then this ram just looks amazing. So, again, not bad pickups. Anything from Chocolatier Ram and to the left, like, you're, you're golden. Anything from the right of that is kind of garbo. And, uh, yeah. Th I mean, most of these have some good designs, I'll be honest. But they just don't hold up. Hopefully, Transcendence gets a Valentine's Day ram soon. Because uh, that'd be really cool. Uh, I, I missed Valentine's Day Rim. <laughs> I miss using her a little bit. So, yeah. Also, you get daily missions, I'm assuming. Yeah, you just... Some fragments. And, yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. Enough stalling. That's that's pretty much it. We'll come back when the memory's available for a memory video. I don't... Probably with part two as well. Uh, that's gonna do it. I'll see you guys next time. Later.